two days ago my Instagram account got hacked and in this video I want to give you some tips on how you can get it back if you're not a big influencer who can just directly write Instagram and get it back but just a small fish like me who has to go through the own tricky steps and get it back. So if your account is hacked right now, you're probably pretty stressed out. So let's get straight to the point. Now, of course, there are several action steps that you can take to get your account back. And I would recommend trying them all because maybe some will work for you that didn't work for me. Like for example, shooting an email to Instagram, but I haven't received an answer even now, so it probably won't work. But maybe I'll receive an answer in the future. I'll let you know down below in the comments. Now, normally it should be pretty easy to reset your password. Like if you click on forgot password, you just receive an email, click on the link, and then you can reset the password and there you go, you're back in your Instagram account. But in my case, the hacker managed to remove my email address, change it with his email address. And also, of course, you should have two-factor authentication on, which I had, but he also managed to change my phone number to his. So whenever I tried to reset my password, the link that I would receive with my email or with my phone number, he received that link, which was pretty bad. Anyways, he then tried to force me into promoting his Bitcoin mining scam and then he wanted to receive money from me. Anyways, that's not what you're here for. I get that. But just that you know, I had no way into resetting my password all by myself. I had to go a different route because apparently my identity was stolen. Now, if you try to log into your account, there is the forgot password option. If you click on that, you can just try the normal steps, which I explained earlier. But in my case, they didn't bring me very far. Now down here, you can click on need additional help, I guess. It's in German for me, but I guess it would be need additional help. Now, if you click on that, you will get to the page where it shows the email address that you should use to reset your password. But in my case, of course, now I have access to this email address. But here's the original screenshot from when he changed it to his email address and his phone number. So let's say you don't have access to your email address. Then you click down here on I don't have access to this email, which brings us to this support site. Here you can click on my account got hacked. So this method is mainly if you have pictures of yourself on your account, like of your face but it also works if you don't have pictures like that on your account but i think it's way easier if you have pictures of yourself on your account then you have to type in an email address or alternative email address where they can reach you if they have something new to tell you so then you click on shoot video and it's basically like when you register your face id on your iphone like you have to turn your head to the right side to the left side up and down and then you send it to instagram you will receive an email that they have received your video they will check in in the next 24 hours and then it got denied. They said they couldn't verify that it was my face, even though I have over 1000 pictures of my freaking face. I even have my ID card posted on my Instagram and they couldn't verify that it was me. So I did it again in front of a white background with my freaking softbox light turned on so that they could perfectly see my face and it got denied one more time. But hang on because I just did it the third time because I had nothing else to do and I really wanted my account back. And the third time it worked and I received an eight figure backup code, which I could type in and then reset my password. And then I was logged into my account on my computer because that was where I had my emails. You could pretty much also do it on your phone, but it was easier for me doing it on my big computer screen. Of course, I immediately changed the password and the email address. But when I wanted to change the phone number, it didn't let me change his phone number, which I now have, back into my phone number, which was kind of a problem. And that was because he had turned on the two-factor authentication, but through an authentication app. So I did a thing that you should never do if your account is not hacked, but you should do it if your account is hacked, which is go to the settings and turn off the two-factor authentication. So his app was thrown out, and then I could finally change not only my email address, but also my phone number back into my phone number still have his phone number though. And then of course, I immediately turned the two-factor authentication back on, but this time again with my phone number and not with a two-factor authentication app. And at this point, I think my account should be my account again. I got my password, which was changed so he can't access it. I got my email address, also changed it to a different one so he can't reach that one. And I also changed my phone number back to my phone number with a two-factor authentication. So he shouldn't be able to get back into my account. So yeah, it was kind of a battle. I changed my password, but then he still got the two-factor authentication with his phone number. So I wasn't back in and it was kind of a back and forth fighting over my account. But in the end, I managed to get it back. And yeah, I hope you will get yours back as well because I know how much it sucks if your account gets hacked, not just if you use it like me for business. Like people contact me through my account if they want me to shoot a video for them, which is kind of hurting my business, but also mainly because it was not my business account, which just had some behind the scenes photos of me shooting videos on it. But my private account with a lot of memories over the last, I don't know, eight years or nine years. I think 2013 is when I first uploaded my first picture, which is kind of, it's my diary. So many memories, the stories in your archive. It's just not something that you should take away from someone, even not to make a quick buck. And don't even get me started on all the private messages that he would be able to read. Like he was from Nigeria, so he probably wouldn't understand German texts, but also these sketchy memes that you sent your friends. You don't want anyone to see that that's not supposed to see that. Anyways, that's it from this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you got your freaking account back because that's what you deserve. If this video helped you at all, I would appreciate it if you would hit the like button and also consider subscribing for more videos just like this one and i'll hopefully see you in the next video goodbye